Okay, uh, this is a video on how to replace the uh, heater core in the bunk of a Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, my heater core was going out because I, I noticed uh, the smell of radiator fluid in the truck and the dripping of radiator fluid underneath the bunk here. And what you have are these two uh, uh, hoses, the inlet and the outlet for the uh, radiator fluid to go into the uh, core up inside the bunk. So all I did was I, I detached these uh, spring clips. Uh, just used a pair of uh, channel locks. Did this number here, uh, squeezed it and just pulled it down. I did both of them. I pulled them all the way completely off to make it, it, it makes it a little easier. Uh, if this doesn't come off easily, you can take the channel locks and pull down and twist at the same time. Now, when it starts coming down, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start coming down easily. And then the fluid, the uh, radiator fluid is going to come uh, out pretty rapidly. So I suggest having someone help you while you're taking that down and holding it to use a uh, funnel. I have just a regular funnel here, a metal funnel. And uh, my... My, my beautiful assistant helped me by holding it right up under here uh, while I pulled those down and it's, uh, the, the fluids came leaking, rushing out. Uh, and there's a couple of buckets that we uh, let it flow into. Um, so anyway, this, this uh, replacing both of these uh, heater cores, the one in the back and the one in the front uh, is a... Uh, I would say it's a, a flawed design. I don't know why they did this, but um, uh, you have to you have to literally cut apart uh, the casing for the uh, heater core inside the truck because that's the only way you can get to it. So we'll go inside here and show you what I'm talking about. So uh, that's the old heater core. That's the new one. So you see that casing right there? Martin, hold this right there for me, please. Hold the flashlight. Put the, put the drink down. Hold the flashlight right there. Hold it right there where I cut that off. Okay, so this is on here like this. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't mean for that to happen. But anyway... That piece is on there and you got to cut it off. You got to cut all the way around it. Um, some people just start uh, breaking it apart into pieces. Some people try to use a razor blade or whatever, uh, but it's pretty, pretty so, uh, strong and solid plastic. So what I used was a uh, utility saw. And uh, this worked really well. I mean, it took it off in a matter of minutes. Um, hold this under here. So what I did was uh, I just got in here, cut one side, cut the other side, and made two small cuts on each end, here and here. Um, I popped it out using a standard screwdriver, just stuck it in there like that, popped it out, and then uh, this heater core literally just pulls right out of there after you detach the hoses on the bottom. Uh, you, you put the new one in, shine the light up here please. You put this new one in uh, they do give you a and when you when you get the new part and they knew it was a flaw for whatever reason they did this I have no idea but so they give you a new part a new cover to put on there and it's got holes for screws it's got predetermined holes so when you put the new heater core on there you put this new cover on there and it comes with screws and you just screw it down in there now why they put that on there and in and closed it like that to where you have to cut it off when they made the screw holes to put a new cover on it doesn't make any sense why not just put one on there with screws and then unscrew it take it out put the new one put the other one with screws back in it would make more sense to me but it just makes it harder for uh you know owner operators like us to go ahead and um, do this kind of stuff uh they want you to have to take it to the dealer uh in you know or as they're better known as the stealer so anyway that's that one that's the bunk heater core the uh front heater core is underneath the glove compartment and it's the exact same setup 
the exact same setup. You literally have to cut it off, undo the hoses from the other end, pull it out, put the other one in, put the top back on with the screws that they provide, uh, hook your hoses back up, refill your uh, radiator fluid, and um, it's a done deal. But yeah, after you get that plastic part off and drain the fluid from the hoses, this thing just pops right out. You pop the other one back in and you're literally done. I mean, take you five, 10 minutes tops to go ahead and take the old one out, put the new one in and reattach it. Uh, the hardest part is uh, pulling the hoses, draining the fluid, and then cutting the top of this pop, this casing. So anyway, I hope this helps because I was trying to find uh, a video, a more in-depth video on YouTube to, uh, to challenge this task. And uh, I wasn't really able to find a whole lot. I did find one guy who literally just tore it apart in pieces and with different tools and uh, it, it, that just that was not, I, I think, I think that was, uh, not, uh, very effective or, um, uh, it took a long time. Anyway, th this is the best and easiest way that I found to do it. Good luck. Uh, I hope this works for somebody. Um, see you later.